the Tenkagoken, or the Five Swords Under Heaven, refers to the collective name for five specific swords that are renowned among the numerous Japanese swords for their exceptional beauty and rarity. These swords, alongside the Tenka San Menso, are representative icons in the world of Japanese swords due to their outstanding beauty and historical value. The exact time when these five swords began to be called Tenka Goken is unclear. It is believed that their selection criteria might have included factors such as the aesthetic beauty of the swords and their historical lineage. In this video, I will introduce the five swords that are counted among the Tenka Goken. Number one, Onimaru Kunitsuna. Onimaru Kunitsuna is a famous sword crafted by the master swordsmith Awataguchi Kunitsuna during the Kamakura period. This sword is currently the only one among the Tenka Goken that is a royal treasure, known as Gyobutsu. Due to its royal status, it is seldom displayed to the public, and the photographs of it in books are limited to those taken on rare occasions. The blade length of Onimaru Kunitsuna is 30.8 inches. It is known for its unusually strong curvature among Japanese swords. The entire blade is evenly curved, with the center of the curvature positioned at the midpoint of the blade length. The name Onimaru Kunitsuna is derived from a legend. Hojo Tokiyori, the fifth regent of the Kamakura Shogunate and then the most powerful person in Japan, was tormented by a little demon appearing in his dreams. No purification rites seemed to work, and he progressively weakened. One night, an old man claiming to be Onimaru Kunitsuna appeared in his dream and said, I've become rusty and cannot be drawn from my sheath because I was held by impure hands. Clean the rust off, and I will rid you of the demon. Following the old man's instructions from the dream, Tokiyori cleaned the rust off his sword. After maintaining it, he propped the drawn sword against a pillar in his bedroom. The sword fell over, accidentally chopping off the leg of a nearby hibachi. When he examined the severed part, he was astonished to find that it bore a striking resemblance to the demon from his dreams. It seemed the demon tormenting him was depicted on the hibachi's leg. After this incident, Tokiyori recovered, and the sword became a treasured heirloom of the Hojo clan. Number 2. Mikazuki Munichika Mikazuki Munichika was crafted by the famous swordsmith Sanjo Munichika during the Heian period. The sword is well known for its beauty, and is said to be the most beautiful among the Tenko Goken. Among the swords made by Sanjo Munichika, there are others like Kokitsune Maru and Iwatoshi, which, although they no longer exist, have maintained a legendary presence. The blade length of this sword is 31.5 inches. The beauty of its curvature is accentuated by its slender width and the gentle tapering towards the tip. The most distinctive feature of this sword is the crescent moon-shaped patterns on the blade, which inspired its name. Multiple crescent moon patterns can be seen along the edge of the blade. This sword was favored by powerful figures of this time, including the Toyotomi and Tokugawa families. But it is particularly known for being in the possession of Yamanaka Yukimori, a vassal of the Amago family. He was a warrior respected for his martial prowess and integrity, even admired by Oda Nobunaga. Known for his devotion to the crescent moon, Yukimuri would pray to it daily and often featured the moon in his armor and weapons. After the fall of the Amago family, he attempted to restore their power, but was killed in the process. It seemed he foresaw his demise as he humbly returned the Mikazuki Munichika to its original owner before his death. Currently, the sword is housed in the Tokyo National Museum 
and was designated a national treasure in 1951. The sword is displayed regularly, allowing visitors to appreciate its stunning beauty, particularly the crescent moon patterns. Number 3. Dojigiri Yasusuna Dojigiri Yasusuna, created by the swordsmith Ohara Yasusuna, known as the originator of swordsmiths, is one of the earliest Japanese swords from the Heian period. It is a famous sword, considered the foremost among the Tenka Goken, and has been designated as a national treasure. The blade length of this sword is 31.5 inches. It is characterized by a strong curvature and a wide blade. The pattern of the blade, known as komirare, consists of small, wave-like lines. The name Dojigiri derives from the legend of Minamoto no Yorimitsu, slaying the demon Shuten Doji. Shuten Doji, one of the most famous demons in Japanese folklore, was notorious in Kyoto during the Heian period for his evil deeds, including abducting people. Minamoto no Yorimitsu, a warrior of the time, was ordered by the emperor to subdue this demon. Yorimitsu infiltrated the demon's stronghold and started a banquet, serving wine to Shuten Doji and his minions. Unbeknownst to them, the wine was poisoned, rendering them immobile. Seizing the opportunity, Yorimitsu used his sword to finish off the demons. It was with this sword that he beheaded Shuten Doji, leading to the name Dojigiri. Today, this sword is housed in the Tokyo National Museum, the largest museum in Japan. There, exhibitions featuring Dojigiri Asuna are held regularly. Number 4. O Denta Mitsuyo O Denta Mitsuyo is a sword forged by the renowned swordsmith Mikei Denta Mitsuyo during the late Heian period. He specialized in creating swords that were short in blade length, wide in body, and had a substantial weight. O Denta Mitsuyo, following this style, is distinct with a blade length of only 25.6 inches and a hefty build. This sword is known as one of the favorite swords of Ashikaga Takauchi, the first shogun of the Murumachi shogunate. It was treasured alongside Onimaru Kunitsuna in the Ashikaga shogunal family. However, during the era of the 15th shogun, it was handed over to Toyotomi Hideyoshi in exchange for a domain of 10,000 koku. Subsequently, Toyotomi Hideyoshi gifted it to his vassal, Maeda Toshie. Maeda Toshie was a military commander who served the Oda and Toyotomi families, renowned for his numerous military achievements. An anecdote associated with this sword involves Gohime's mysterious illness. Gohime, Maeda Toshie's fourth daughter, was dearly loved by Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who once remarked, that he would have made her his heir if she were a boy. At one point, she fell ill with an unknown disease. As her condition did not improve, people speculated that she might be possessed by a fox spirit. To ward off the evil spirits, Toshie borrowed the spiritually powerful Oden Tamizio from Hideyoshi and placed it beside her pillow. Remarkably, within just three days, her illness was cured. However, when Toshie returned the sword to Hideyoshi, Gohime fell ill again. Seeing this, Hideyoshi decided to gift the sword to Toshie permanently. In 1957, Oden Tamizio was designated a national treasure. It is currently held by the Maeda Ikutokukai, an organization established by the descendants of Toshie. Number 5. Juzumaru Tsunetsugu Juzumaru Tsunetsugu was crafted by the renowned swordsmith Aoe Tsunetsugu during the Kamakura period. He and his two brothers were known as the exclusive swordsmiths for Emperor Kotoba, the 82nd Emperor of Japan. This sword has a blade length of 33 inches, making it the longest among the Tenkogoken. 
It is about eight inches longer than Oden to Mitsuyo. Juzumaru Tsunisugu is characterized by a wide base and a narrower tip. Unlike the other swords in the Tenka Goken, there are no legends about the sharpness of this sword. This is because it was once owned by the Buddhist monk Nichiren, the founder of the Nichiren sect of Buddhism, which remains a major religious force in modern Japan. The name Juzumaru originates from the fact that Nichiren carried this sword for protection while traveling to sacred mountains. He wrapped a juzu, rosary, around its hilt and carried it by his side, thus earning the sword its name. There is also a legend that Nichiren miraculously did not fall while climbing steep mountains using this sword as a staff. After Nichiren's death, the sword became one of his three relics and has been revered as a precious belonging of the great monk. Today, this sword is not kept in a museum or art gallery, but is preserved by Hongkoji Temple in Hyogo Prefecture. It is publicly displayed only during the temple's festival held on November 3rd. In history, there was a military commander who had possessed four of the Tenka Goken except for Juzumaru Tsunetsugu. He was Ashikaga Yoshiteru, the 13th shogun of the Muromachi shogunate. Known as a swordsman shogun, Yoshiteru learned swordsmanship from famous swordmasters. There are legends that these swords were used in battle under his command. In 1565, he faced betrayal by his vassals, and his residence was attacked in an event known as the Eiroku Incident. Surrounded by 10,000 enemy troops, Yoshiteru fought valiantly, living up to his reputation. He fought off intruders into his castle with the Tenka Goken he had collected, changing swords as they dulled from cutting down his enemies. Yoshiteru's prowess was extraordinary, reportedly defeating over 30 men single-handedly. However, overwhelmed by sheer numbers, his end came heroically, speared from all sides. We hope you enjoyed this exploration into the world of Japanese swords. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content about the history of Japanese swords. Until next time, sayonara.